At last, you finally heeded that little voice deep within you saying, Step into the light. At that moment, you decided to leave behind the dark and dreary life of iPhone use and embrace the bright, colorful, and free life of Android. It's a very wise choice. Hi, I'm Mark. You're watching the Android Authority channel. After deciding to transfer from iPhone to Android, your next important question might be, how do I transfer my data and files? For most people, it's a very hard question because the two platforms are substantially different. In this video, I'll show you several ways to transfer your data from iPhone to Android. Let's begin with a very important set of phone data, your contacts. For transferring your iPhone contacts, you can do it with the help of iCloud. First, set up iCloud on your iPhone. Go to Settings, tap iCloud, and log into your iCloud account. Make sure that syncing is enabled for contacts and that your iPhone is connected to the internet so it can sync your data to iCloud. Next, open a web browser on your computer and log into your iCloud account. Open your contact list by clicking on the contacts icon. Highlight the contacts that you want to export. At the bottom left of the contacts window, click on the actions menu button. Select export vCard to download your selected contacts in VCF format. Save the file to your computer. Now that you already have your contacts in VCF format, you can send the file to your Android phone and import it into your phone's People or Contacts app. Or, you can upload this file to your Google account using a browser. I'll show you how. Log into Google Contacts on your web browser. Scroll down to the bottom of the left pane and click Import Contacts. You will see a dialog like this. Click the Choose File button and select the VCF file that you downloaded earlier. Click the Import button to upload your iPhone contacts to your Google account. Once the upload is complete, let your Android phone sync the newly imported contacts. Make sure your phone is connected to the internet. Wasn't that easy? If you're a busy bee like me, you'll certainly have a lot of calendar events stored on your iPhone. You can move them to Android in one go. Here's how it's done. First, set up iCloud on your iPhone. To do that, go to Settings, tap on iCloud, and enter your iCloud account credentials to log in. Make sure that syncing is enabled for calendars and that your iPhone is connected to the internet so it can sync your data to iCloud. With your calendar data already in iCloud, your next step is to export your calendar entries into a file. Here's how. Open your web browser on your desktop computer and log in to your iCloud account. Click on the calendar icon to see your calendars. Here, on the left, you'll see a list of your calendars. Click the Share Calendar button at the right of the calendar to be exported. You'll see a pop-up like this. Place a check in the box for Public Calendar. Highlight the link that appears below it and copy the link. Next, open a new browser tab, then paste the copied link. But don't hit the Enter key just yet. First replace the word WebCal with HTTP. Then, hit the Enter key. Your browser will start downloading a file with a long file name made up of random characters. Save the file to your computer. You can give it a shorter name, like calendar.ics, if you like. Now you can import your calendar to your Google Calendar account. Here's how it's done. In the New Browser tab, log into your Google Calendar account, the same one as you're using on your Android device. On the left pane, click the down arrow beside the Other Calendars label to open the menu. Click Import Calendar, then click Choose File and select the file that you downloaded earlier. From the drop-down list below, Select the calendar that you want to import the entries to. Then, click Import to start saving the entries. After that, give your Android device a moment to sync your new calendar entries. Make sure your device is connected to the net. Let's see if the exported entries were successfully imported. Yep, here they are. If you've captured lots of photos and videos through your iPhone, you don't have to abandon them when you switch to Android because there's an easy way to transfer your photos. Your first goal is to copy your iPhone images to your PC. To do this, connect your iPhone to your PC using the iPhone's USB cable. If detected, your iPhone will be listed under the Portable Devices section in My Computer. Right-click on your iPhone's icon. Select Import Pictures and Videos from the pop-up menu. Your PC will scan your iPhone for images and videos in your camera roll. When scanning finishes, click Import to begin copying the found videos and images to your PC. They'll be copied to a subfolder inside the My Pictures folder. When that's done, unplug your iPhone from the PC. Now you can copy the files from your PC to your Android. Connect your Android phone to your PC using its USB cable. Your PC should be able to detect your phone storage. 
open your Android storage, and go to the subfolder where images and videos are usually saved. This is usually the folder labeled DCIM. Copy the images and videos into this folder, or, if you like, into a subfolder. That ought to do it. Not very difficult, was it? For transferring music to your Android, you'll need the help of a computer with both iTunes and Google Music Manager. Your first goal is to sync your iPhone music tracks to your PC, including your purchased music. Use iTunes for this. On your desktop computer, run iTunes and log into your Apple account. Open the music library, then open the songs tab. Here, you'll see your iPhone music tracks. Song titles with cloud and arrow icons beside them are your purchased songs that have not yet been downloaded to your PC. Click on the cloud icon beside a title to download that song to your PC. You need the music tracks to be saved on your PC so that you can copy them to your Android. Your next goal is to upload your songs to Google Play Music. For this, just run Google Music Manager on your computer, log into your Google account, and follow the setup prompts. When asked, select Upload Songs to Google Play, then select iTunes on the list. You can choose to upload all tracks in your iTunes library, music playlists, or podcasts. After specifying all setup options, Google Music Manager will scan your iTunes library and start uploading your songs to your Google account. This may take a while, depending on the speed of your internet connection and the number of files being uploaded. Once your music tracks have been uploaded to your Google Music account, they will be available to you through a web browser or through Android devices that run the Google Play Music app. If you have lots of bookmarks on your iPhone and if you use them a lot, you can transfer them to Android with the help of the iCloud Control Panel for Windows and Google Chrome or Firefox on both your computer and your Android device. Your first goal is to sync your iPhone bookmarks to your computer via iCloud. Do this by setting up and activating your iCloud account on your iPhone and ensuring that Safari data are being synced to iCloud. Then, on your desktop computer, run iCloud Control Panel and log into your iCloud account. Make sure you tick the checkbox for bookmarks. Then, click Options and pick the browser that you want to send the bookmarks to. Choose either Firefox or Chrome. Click on Apply, and when asked, choose to merge your bookmarks. After this, you'll be asked to download the iCloud Bookmarks extension for the browser that you picked. Download and install the extension, that's all. Once the extension is installed, it will download your bookmarks from iCloud and save them to your browser profile. You now have your bookmarks on your PC, either in Firefox or Chrome. From here, everything becomes a walk in the park. If you use Chrome primarily on your Android, sync your bookmarks by logging into your Google account in Chrome for desktop. By logging in, your browser data, including bookmarks, will be synced to your Google account. On your Android device, make sure you log into the same Google account. If you use Firefox, you first need to do some setting up. On your computer, click on Setup Sync from the Firefox menu. Then, log into your Firefox account or create a new one. On your Android device, run the Firefox browser and go to the Settings page. Tap on Sync. You'll see three sets of pairing codes. Take note of them. Go back to the Firefox on your PC. Open the Options menu. On the Sync tab, click on Pair a Device. Type in the pairing codes into the empty boxes. Click Next to pair your computer with your Android. Once properly paired, Firefox and both PC and Android will begin syncing your browser data, including bookmarks. Leaving the iPhone in favor of Android is not a completely joyful decision, but it's probably one of the wisest decisions that you'll ever make. The transfer is filled with challenges and hurdles, but none that you can't conquer. In this video, you learned how to transfer your contacts, images, videos, calendar events, and bookmarks from iPhone to Android. I hope you found this guide useful. For more Android guides, news, and reviews, visit AndroidAuthority.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Mark, and thank you for watching. And remember, the power of Android is yours.